Welcome everyone to our next devlog about the project Canon. Yeah, I know it was a little bit quiet during the last days, yeah, but I was really uh, sidetracked all about these boxes here. So what we can do is shoot at them with the shotgun. And then, as you see, they will just fly around. But what is the amazing part about this one is that we can rewind the time. Look at it. Really nice, really nice. Yeah, sorry, I was I was really side sidetracked a bit. This one, it will not make into the final game, but it's prepared for maybe a next game or so. I'm just experimenting with stuff here. But I, what, what I want to really show you today is our animation system in depth. So for that I imported the character skills character. It's not our, our final character. We will show um, the one once we have it in Unreal Engine running with our system too and the animations are playing properly and so on. But as you see we can now uh, play animations during weapon equipments like this. Or on equipment. I know it's not perfect, but it's it's mainly for testing. It's 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 an animation from character interaction and does not fit very well to the stuff from uh, yeah advanced locomotion system or or extended out of locomotion system. So as before, we can also shoot still with stuff. And if I go into slow motion, you will see that there is a, a tracer effect now. It's basically just a mesh, which is attached to the bullet itself. And here we play some particle effects on the weapon. And here the bullet shells and smoke. It's basically from ballistics effects. And yeah, but it sounds not really yeah new or so. That's right, but we extended ALS heavily to allow um, stuff like this. So if I stop the game and go into a folder where we can work as an artist on the weapon itself. So we just here have these few blueprints. We can introduce some notifiers here which are used in this anim graph which I will explain in a little bit of time here. Then we have the shooting uh, sound cue which is played on the weapon which is this one here. It's basically a mesh and has some, some logic for firing and implements our interface for weapons in Project Cannon. Um, then here we have an anim graph where we can play yeah, um, animations on the weapon itself. And here we have this one. This is the interesting part here if you open it. It's, it's basically an own anim graph for an overlay state, like uh, an armed weapon or so. Here in this case a pistol for two hands. And we can do stuff here in our event graph here we can call update uh, I guess it's yeah it's blueprint update animation it's basically ticking for um, animation blueprints we can use this one here or we can say get the begin play if we um, what is it here begin play event when this animation graph is, is created and we have some additional uh, interfaces that's basically from our system. So this one is here if the anim graph is activated, uh, will be called. Then we play the animations for equipping the weapon. And if it is deactivated, we will play the animation for deactivation, uh, for unequipping the weapon. Um, basically, you can also define a state machine here. That's basically from ALS itself. It's a little bit modified. And here you can yeah, introduce your states for the character. Like here we have a leg state, ready state, and aiming state. And then we can play all our animations. Yeah. Mm, and in the main anim graph of the, of the character itself, it's here basically from ALS. This is the stock one. And this here is the one which we can load during runtime. So in our system, we don't have to anymore extend this graph here and introduce new stuff or, um, yeah, add new enumerations and so on, or new booleans to decide in which in state we want. We just call our function here in the player itself. It's this one. It's written in C++. And here we can set our animation. Basically, 
what it will be in, in the final release that we get here a reference to the weapon where our tech manager says, oh, now I want to equip this weapon, store it here as a, thing, as a current weapon. And then we can get some properties from it, like we, which slot we want to use for attaching to a bone or so. And then basically what we have here is this, this anim graph, which we can set at the weapon. I will show it immediately. And then it will just be activated here. And yeah, if it fails, we have here a um, special C++ node, which uh, raises an error in the editor itself. It's mainly for us, uh, for debug and so on, that we get feedback if something is not working as expected. Mm, and here, when we play an animation and the weapon is on a specific state, which we can see it immediately in the, in the animation itself, we call this event here. And then we cast the act actor and attach it to the bone we want or slot, in this case a slot. And here is the anim notifier. It's basically also written in C++, uh, in, C++ in Blueprints. Um, so if you get called in this notifier here, we get the owner. And then we call our interface, which will be then our character in this case. And we can then set uh, specific stuff, like or do specific stuff, like attaching the weapon actor to a specific slot or bone. And yeah, let me see if I have forgot something. Yeah, yeah the notify itself. Um, so if we open here the animation itself, so let's see. Here we have in this specific state here. So if I make it a little bit bigger. So in this specific state here, we want to attach the weapon to a bone, basically, and then yeah, go forward. As you see, stuff is still... <laughs> Yeah, a little bit off and so on. It's it's because of the weapon pack because the weapon is rotated nine degrees and we have to rotate them again in the animation blueprint from the weapon itself to get a proper rotation, like uh, our other weapons from ALS basically. And then yeah, as you see, it does not really fit to the pose from ALS. That's why it looks a little bit weird. But in the final um game of or final version of project canon we will have our own animations for uh, weapon and stuff and walking and so on that's what our artists will make hopefully and soon we can also share the character itself i'm still waiting for it to do another devlog about it i have already seen it and i think you will also quite be amazed how it looks like um yeah what we can also show yeah as i said as an, as an artist with this system, you can just work in one folder and you have a complete setup for a weapon, like character animations, uh, weapon animations, shooting notifies, the projectile itself, sound effects, also particle effects which you can play on the weapon and so on. This is very flexible, our system. It basically uh, provides some some well-defined API, which is this one here. For example, we have some uh, events when we get called by the attack manager here for when we start aiming, end aiming, when we begin attacking, when we ended attacking, and when we, of course, perform the attack. And here with a uh, actor component itself, as I said, we work a lot of a lot with them. And here we can spawn the bullet. Uh, here we can say shoot once, and then then we'll spawn the bullet at this spawn point and will yeah travel to this direction here it's basically the, the hit from the character itself which is a line trace and yeah we then have more events for recharging it's not implemented yet for this weapon and also when we attach the weapon to the manager and so on on the attach it and detach it and yeah here we playing basically the sound effects um, empty sound effect if we have not um, uh, not enough bullets anymore in the weapon and here we have a sound effect for shooting itself and yeah if we have set up a camera shake it will be also called here and will rotate the camera a little bit or shake it it's also not yet set up for this weapon but yeah it's very easily very easily can be done just here say uh, with this camera shake define one and then you will have a camera shake in your system or in your uh, gameplay. It's it's very handy. Um, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show today. <laughs>
I, but I sh I'm sure you want to see again the time uh, time rewind. So let's do it again. So if I equip it, do that stuff here, and then rewind it. Yeah, we could also control the the speed or the velocity of the boxes here when we rewind it. We can do slow motion here, or we can. Um, do it a little bit faster so that you don't have to wait that long. So, see you in the next guy, uh, next devlog, guys. Pretty sure we will share more in doing the next days. Bye.